Yes, well, I'm back again uh, for an update. Yeah, this station has recently been in the news and um, I've come to update you uh, about that news story. So it's not so much of an audit, it is a news piece uh, letting you know what's going on about this station. I'm going to uh, do some filming in public. Charing Cross Police Station. Pick this up in a second. So this story is about the inappropriate conduct which is happening at Charing Cross Police Station and, um, and a, a report that's just been released uh, by the IOPC. Yeah, so this is um, the backyard to uh, Charing Cross Police Station. Uh, I had an incident here a few months back. Yeah, okay. How cool. are you? Nice to see you. How's nice your mum? Nice to see you as well. Right? No, actually, do you know something? That's a real sarcastic remark, you know. What's your number? You don't even you dare say something like that. You're disgusting. Okay. You. you are so disgusting. What's your, what's right, your shoulder number? You I'm going to report you, you know. The that is the worst thing the for you. Do you know something? That's the most disgusting thing that anybody can say. Do you know what? That is really, really disgusting. Okay, good. Yeah, I'd like to speak to somebody senior, please. Go on, there's a front office. Go find them. Okay, all right, then I will go and find them. AW2, two what? Is that our carrier? 2170. It is a follow-up video uh, towards what kind of happened to me, but also it's uh, highlighting the uh, inappropriate behaviour of a... Uh, Charing Cross uh, police officers. Um, this investigation was started back in um, March 2018. Yeah, very long time. And the investigation was called Operation Hotton. Yeah, this operation uh, targeted 14 members. Do, don't put your hand up to me, please. Right, well, don't, don't put your hand. The, don't put your hand up to me because uh, I'm no good at drawing. Uh, this is uh, some random lady coming up to me, putting her hand in, in my face. Well, it's good to keep this camera rolling, then, isn't it? Anyway, back to my story. Uh, this operation was entitled Operation Hotton and it targeted 14 members, 14 police officers uh, from this station, from Charing Cross. Yeah, so, um, so right, go on. Alright. Yeah, because I can't draw properly. Sorry? Who, who are you guys? You're in plain clothes. I don't know who okay. you are. It doesn't matter who I am. Yeah, it does matter. Of course it All matters. Right. Otherwise I'll just walk away from you. Okay, so why are you filming though? Are, are you gonna tell me who you are? I'm not gonna tell you. Oh no, well, then don't talk to me. Why are you gonna tell me why you're don't talk to me. Okay. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Get this guy to identify himself. Get that guy to identify himself. Okay, bud. I asked you to get that guy to identify himself. Why do you need that? Because he's asking me all these stupid questions. I mean, he's likely asking you questions because you're filming the back of the police station, isn't he? That's just pretty obvious, isn't it? Yeah, go on then. So what is it? What is what? We've just come out to talk to you, mate. Yeah? And what else? What's, what's the reason you're filming the back of our next What else door? do you need to do? I've asked you a question. What else do you need to do? Why are you filming the back what of our What else do you need to do? It's a simple question. You've come mate. out to talk to me, but and what? 
What else do you need to do? Well, I've just asked you a question, haven't you? It doesn't matter. What else do you need to do first? What are you, what are you trying to ask me? Because you're asking me. Clearly not interested. Oh, God, skip me. <laughs> I was thinking... Are you all right? You having a good day? Not really. These guys are coming out to abuse me. I don't think they are. I think they're trying uh, to find out what are. you're doing at I the police station. I think they're coming out to abuse me. That's my opinion. All right, you that's your opinion, opinion, but I don't think they are. Yeah, yeah. All right, you have a good day, sir. No, you have a good day. Don't I'll, tell I'll me what try to do. To. Thank you very much. Off you go, then. Yeah, come on, then. What you got to do? Yeah? Yeah. PC Hayes there, attached to Train Cross Police Station. Oh, that's better. I'll ask, I'll ask you again. What's the number? 1271 Alpha. Okay, that's better. What's the number? 2083. What's What's the Whiskey. Yeah, where, 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 where are you attached to? Same here, Trunkle Okay, speech. what's your number, mate? My number, 3160. Okay, so that's what you should have done first of all, isn't it? Absolutely. Why, why are you yeah, that's what that's you should have done first of all. If you want to come and talk to me, come and identify yourself first. Don't just come up to me and then tell, ask me what I'm doing. Identify yourself right. properly. Do there's it no properly. Do well, if there's no need to do that, then I've got no need to talk to you then. Yeah, if you don't want to identify yourselves, they've got no need to talk to you. Have I? Well, we have I got any need to talk to you? Have I got any need to talk to you? If you're not Absolutely. identifying yourself, have I got any need to talk to you? Absolutely. I asked why you're taking pictures of a police station. Hello. Firstly, can I ask you to identify yourself? Yeah, PC Randall, based out of this building. Okay. Can I ask why you're taking Is there anything else you should let me know? Can I ask why you're taking pictures you of this know? police station and photographing vehicles there, going it, in and out? Well, what about your, your camera? Are you supposed to let me know that you've put that on? I have put it on. You can see you watched me do it because you were filming me. So you were filming you, this police was you, station. Was you verbally can I supposed ask you why you're you, taking pictures no. and filming this police station? You can ask me, yeah. Right, do you want to tell me then? Well, do I have to tell you? Yes. Under what law? I can, I can detain you under the Terrorism Act if you want me to. <laughs> Because I'm quite clearly identified by so those police officers. And what? With my name and my number. Am I doing shoulder. anything wrong? Am I you. doing anything wrong, officer? Well, that's what we've come to no, find no, out. No, no, sir, no, no, no. I'm asking moment, you. Filming? You're okay. Is that wrong? Is that no, against the law? Is that place. against the law? You can film in a public Is it place. against However, the law? Is it against the law? We have a priority. You know I'm not even listening to you guys. So what? But I don't have a priority to be able to speak to you. Okay? So that's the thing. Yeah? You come out, you do it right. I'll have a conversation. Don't do it right. I don't have to have a conversation. I'm not doing anything wrong, I officer. To you very quietly, officer, sir, I'm not doing anything wrong. More and more angry. I'm not getting angry at all. What we're trying to do is I'm not getting angry at all. Sir. Don't put words into my mouth. This is why I'm not going to talk to you now. So what, what is your business? Why, why are you recording the back of the neck? This guy over there just said I was getting angry because I was talking, so I am not going to say any more. Okay, you don't have to talk to him. Yeah. But I've identified myself, I've asked you a question. No, we'll get him to apologise then, I'm not getting angry. Well, I'm not worried about him apologising. Well, I'm not worrying about him, because if he thinks that I'm getting angry, it's a worry to me, right, okay? okay? What Am I doing anything wrong? You haven't, you, haven't, you haven't answered me. Am what I doing... You, what would you see? Like me to you not, for, for, for telling apology. me I'm getting angry, because I'm not. You're raising your voice. I'm not you're raising my voice. It's on, it's on camera. It's on camera. I'm okay, not getting agitated fine, at all. I'm are you filming apologize. me? Are you filming me? Yes, I am. Are you supposed to tell me that you're filming me? Don't have to. Okay, well now I'm not talking. Now I'm not saying anything. Because that's abuse. That's police power's abuse. You have to tell me you're filming me. You do have to. Huh? You, you, so you, don't, you, don't wanna, you don't want to acknowledge. Your purpose for you filming? don't want to acknowledge that you're filming me. Yeah. You I told you I'm filming. I'm not, I'm not hiding. No, the you didn't tell me. I had to ask. Okay, you it's on me camera. Put my camera. Doesn't off. matter. You're supposed to verbally tell me. This I, is why I'm I've filming. Do you know why I'm filming? Life. Say that again. I've never been asked that before in my what? life. You've never been asked what before? Why am I filming? Because I'm doing well, it for evidence. What, that's, are, you, what that's, are you filming? That's because you don't tell them. That's why, and they probably don't know that you're supposed to tell them. But I do.
Are you going to tell us why? No, because he's just abusing his towels. He's just said I've been agitated, angry. He's filming me, but he doesn't want to tell me. Is there me. anything we can help you today? Yeah, I'll have a cup of tea. Love Other one. Than a cup of tea, it's not a cafe. I didn't say it was. You asked me if I could, you could help me. That's what I would like you to do. Police help me. Matter. Say that again? A, with a police Did I call matter. you out? Did I call you out? No, but we've been Did I call you out? Well, I didn't call you out. So you were getting in their well, I, I, don't, don't come so, off it. We're just, we're just Get off of it. Look, see? This is, what I, this is why I'm filming. We're just you, had a, you had a what? A report that yeah. someone who working in the station. Where did you have the report? Someone inside approached us. And okay. You in and, face of the camera. So oh. you just come out to see what's going oh. on. Oh. Dude, don't put your hand up to me, please. Right, well, don't, don't put your hand. Don't put your hand up to me. Because uh, I'm no good at drawing. So do you know something? She came into my face. I wasn't here for that. Exactly. So I now you can go away that. because that's the truth. She came into my face. Well, so she's telling lies. So, so she's telling lies. Well, I, I'm, yeah, I'm but it doesn't matter that. because it, whatever, she said what she said and it's a lie. Right, okay. I've got a camera. I filmed it. She came right, into okay. my face. Is there Bye. In terms of policing matter. Did I call you out? Sorry? Did I call you out? No, but I'm asking no. a simple question. So I didn't call you out. So you don't need our, our assistance Cup of tea. Other than a cup of tea, because I'm not making you one. There's nothing we can help you with, but we're going to return inside. Can to I leave explain to you yeah. calmly why that. that calmly? Who's might... going to be calm? You? Me. I'm going to be oh. calm. Oh, I'm so you was calm. agitated, yeah? I mean, uh, let's not get into that. I'll explain well, to you. Well, you use words. Why we've come no, out. you shouldn't use words, right, that uh, is not appropriate, because I wasn't getting agitated, and for you to say that, if you're a police officer and you say that I'm getting agitated, then something happens. All you're going to turn around and say is, oh, he got agitated. This is why I'm filming and you're filming. Do you and this is why me? you should be telling me? me you're filming as well. Yeah, I'll listen you, you, to you. You seem quite concerned with why you've been approached. Do that again? You, you seem quite concerned I'm with not, why you've been approached. I'm not concerned at all. Okay, but that, that seems to anyway, be I'll the listen to you. I'll listen to you. Here. I'll listen to okay. you. Okay, obviously this is a police station. There's a thing known as hostile reconnaissance, which is where people surveil police stations, military bases, anything like that, in an attempt to try and gain intelligence about weaknesses in security for whatever reason, whether that is because they want to get in, because they want to try it on. Sometimes it's to do with terrorism. However, we've got a duty of care to ourselves, our officers and our facility to make sure that people here are not trying to hostilely reconnaissance our sites. So you've been approached by a member of staff because they want to know what you're doing because they've seen you with a camera filming the back of a police station they've approached you i'm not here to take sides like my colleagues said they've said you've got up in their face you've said they've got up in your face we've not been here to see that have we but they've wanted to find out what you're doing. we've come out just to speak to you nice and calmly and at which point you've not told us why you're here you start jumping and putting words in my mouth you're saying i'm putting words in your mouth You've done exactly the same to us. You then don't want to listen to why we're trying to explain to you why we're out here. And that's all it is. This could have been a dead easy conversation, but you've tried, you've gone off while we're trying to talk to you, tried filming other people. You're not listening to me. You're not listening to my colleague. Okay, can I speak now? To make, can I speak now? Just okay. quickly. All right. Do you see why that starts to make alarm bells ring for people? Can I speak now? Absolutely. Okay, first of all, as I said to you, when you came out, what did I say to you? Huh? You didn't say much. What did I, but what did I say? What have you got to do? You didn't say That's anything. a very vague question. Do you know something? No when meaning. you came out and you're going to look at me, as so you just said about terrorism, identify yourself as a police officer in the very first beginning. Is the uniform it doesn't the matter. Your approach, your approach is very important. Your approach officer. is very uh, important. You're filming. You're supposed to come out in a certain way, do certain things. I stood there. I didn't run off. And, and hostile reconnaissance is covert. I am actually filming. You'd be surprised quite oh, often. Right, right. Anyway, anyway, anyway. A part of your... Having worked mm, in a lot of security-based Listen, sites, let me just say, because you're talking. Quite often. Let me just say security. to you, right? Your, your policies state covert filming, okay? That's what it states. Look up on your, your um, National, Chiefs, National Police Chiefs um, Council memo, yeah, and it tells you about um, filming outside police stations, hostile reconnaissance, and such forth. And it says covertly filming. That's policy. Right? That, I don't, anyway, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just I'm saying to you, uh, actually, it's a memo that you should have read. 
okay? It's part of your police guidance. It was out in 2021, and it's a memo sent to all police chiefs, right? Which you guys should be reading and understanding that if I'm outside filming, or any member of the public is outside filming, yeah? We shouldn't be treated as hostile reconnaissance. Unless there's any specific information that qualifies that. Not some random woman who was in plain clothes, yeah? Putting her hand up to my face, yeah, and telling me what am I doing? Now that is wrong in itself because I don't know who she is. She could have been somebody who wanted to attack me, yeah. Just because she's gone inside and called you out because you are police officers doesn't mean nothing because I'm not doing anything wrong. And because you come out and you want to speak to me, it doesn't mean that I have to speak to you. I'm under no obligation to. So whatever you just said. Yeah, went straight over my head because what you're trying you to say is to no. Because you weren't listening to me. What you're, yeah, but, not to yeah, but listen. To what you're stop, trying to say me? Oh, to do you know something? Not listen to me. This whole time anyway, you're going on and on and on. The thing about it is, right? I don't have to talk to you. This is not a consensual conversation, right? I don't need your help for anything. I'm out here. I'm filming on the public. I'm fi no, that's not what I don't have to say. I don't have to say anything. But I'm just telling you, yeah? I'm out here filming on a public footpath, yeah? And whatever your reason to come out and speak to me may be valid, right? And I'm not taking that away from you. It's the way you came out and done it. Well, okay? that's entirely up to your interpretation. No, 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 no. no. All right, then. Out. Well, let me not talk to you then. Because you're not listening to what I just said. Exactly what you've just said to me. You're not prepared to listen, yeah? So you've done exactly the same thing. That's what you've just done. Exactly the same thing. You wasn't prepared to listen. You wasn't prepared to listen to what I've got to say. Crack on with it, gone, walk away. Listen, listen to somebody as well. I listen to you, and then and then what? And then what? So we can agree to disagree, yeah? Yeah, we can agree. All right then. Bye bye. Bye bye. Walk of shame. Off you go. It's not really a walk of shame, is it? It is. Not. It is. Go on then. No one called you out here. That's the lady putting her hands in my face. Excuse me. You put your hand in my face. You came to me. I didn't come to you. I think you've mistaken her. I, I apologise. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I apologise. All right, then. That's fair enough. I apologise. Right, no, no, no. No. All right, then. Okay, so I'll take that back. Do you know why? No, no. no. Okay, okay. And I, 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 I would really apologise for that. The reason, no, the reason why, the reason why I apologise for that is because the lady came up to me in such a way that actually she did look very similar, right? And I do apologise. I agree to disagree. I'm glad you've apologised for that. Yeah. Just no, that is, that is my you're... mistake. Just think about the way you're approaching people as well. I know I'm not approaching anybody. I, I did, I I did say that to that lady, to you, but, but I, didn't, I don't usually approach anybody. All right, brother. But I, I, I just feel that um, you came out with the wrong kind of attitude. All right, then, walk of shame. Off you go. Oh, I do have to hold up my hands. I do apologise to that lady that just came out. Um, she did have nothing to do with the original incident. Um, possibly that was just me sort of um, sort of looking at her and, and feeling that it was a uh, similar sort of dress to, to the other lady because she did come quite close to me and she was in the same clothes. Um, so, just like West Mercia Police, I issue an apology for mistaking that officer in plain clothes for the one who put her hand in my face. This is my apology. Out! Okay, so, uh, well, <laughs> that was sort of my filming, even though um, I hadn't even started filming and, and doing what uh, I uh, said that I'd come here to do. Um, yeah, so the police conduct about um, Charing Cross Police Station, absolutely abysmal, yeah. They've come out, they've challenged me in such a way that, um, you know, they feel that they have the right to tell me that um, I have to speak to them and, and, and such forth and such forth. Um, but I shall carry on with my, um, with my story. So, this is Charing Cross Police Station. And in uh, 2018, there was an investigation that involved 14 police officers. Are you holding my chance or something? You gonna to talk to me? No. Fine, whatever.
Right. I'm sure you've done this before, mate. And I don't really care. The point is, if you go hang outside a police station, you're probably going to be productive talking to you. Yeah? If you're filming people coming out of the station, you're filming vehicles going as well. Who are you? I'm a police officer. Clear that, show yourself. Show, show your identification. Oh, I'm going show to your card. I'm then don't really talk to me then. Out. Then go away. Them. Don't talk to me. So you don't want to hang outside a police station? Go away, station. You don't want go away. To, do I don't want you to talk to me because you're not identifying yourself as a police officer. You're yeah. random. Look at you, you're in plain clothes. You know who else was in, um, didn't right, identify right, themselves? Ah, yeah. oh, so you're just walking off here yeah, because you think that you can abuse me by telling me that you're no. a police officer. That don't work with me, mate. Right, right, off you go, on your way, you're dismissed. Bye-bye, no, walk a chain, you're dismissed, mate. Dismissed! So let's get back to the uh, to the original story. Yeah. So this station uh, was investigating 14 police officers. Um, it was uh, linked to nine uh, investigations where um, evidence was found of um, bullying and discrimination. And I think um, maybe up to a point you can see how um, <clears throat> well how how these officers feel that they can intimidate well members of the public. Uh, maybe other people who don't really know their, their rights um, and it's most probably ingrained in them to kind of feel that they could just come out and say what they want to say and, and do what they want to do but um, as the IOPC did find that um, there was a, a culture of, uh, of uh, bullying and discrimination and inappropriate um, behaviours yeah and uh, a lot of these behaviours um, included um, racism, uh, harassment, sexual in The reason why I go quiet is because people are walking past me and I don't actually want, to, want them to hear exactly what I've got to say because it may make them feel um, that, uh, that I'm talking uh, in any way um, that will incriminate me in anything. But obviously I'm uh, just uh, telling you about the Charing Cross Station actually and how they uh, intimidate and bully and uh, they have a, a sexual banter amongst their uh, colleagues, their uh, mis misogynistic in their attitudes towards women. Um, there was a WhatsApp group that was going around and um, that was found out by the IOPC and um, investigated as well. And some of the language that was um, used was absolutely atrocious. Um, there is a report out and I will um, link that uh, report in, in my description uh, so you can read more on it. So, uh, the IOPC did come up with like um, 15 recommendations um, which uh, they wanted to seek to uh, tackle the underlying cultural issues yeah, by preventing uh, environments from developing in which unprofessional behaviour and inappropriate behaviour can thrive and go unchallenged. You know, um, it must be difficult for some officers who feel that they are being um, bullied or, um, you know, subject to sexual harassment to actually speak out, you know. So it's most probably created a culture um, of... Um, yeah, no, that's absolutely, absolutely Yeah, a culture of uh, intimidation within the police station. And obviously they've got a, a whistleblower policy that they should be adhering to. But um, are you, or would they be the person that's going to go and um, whistle blow. It seems kind of like, uh, you know, you're going against the grain of the, your colleagues and of the institution of being a police officer, you know, but, you know, when something is wrong, it's wrong and uh, it should be reported. Uh, I'll pick this up in one second. Yeah, fine. Well then, just mind your back for the vehicles. 
How come you're videoing, sir? What you videoing? Any particular reason? No? What are you up to today? Hold on, oi, why would I talk to you? Look at you. Look at this random bloke in, in shorts, a backpack. You look, you look. Excuse me, please don't come so close to me. Look how, look how close you're, you're um, You can take a step back then, can't you? No, you can take a step back. I don't need to take a step back. I can, I'll tell you what, I'll walk away. Oh, what, you following me now? It's on camera. I'm following you, aren't I? Yeah, you are, of course you're following me. <laughs> don't make yourself look silly, yeah? Yeah, I'll give right. the same advice. Don't to make you. yourself look silly. Yeah. Don't make yourself look silly. To, Don't make yourself look silly. Okay? Stop following me. Identify yourself. You're filming people coming Identify in and yourself. Out of their Identify building. yourself, please. My shoulder number's clearly Identify yourself. Oh, my shoulder number's clearly displayed on Peter Cooper attached to fucking Palace Road Police Station. Yeah, what's your number? It's clearly displayed on Well, if you don't want to tell me, then I, I don't know. I'm not accepting that as an identification. How do you know that I can um, see your numbers in a. In a a way that um, they're readable on, on your... Yeah, but it's written, but who to say that I can um, see it in that way? Are you blind? Do you know what? That's a very discriminative... Um, I'm asking uh, if you're blind. That's a very you discriminative blind, statement. You I don't to need to shoulders. tell you what medical condition I may okay. or may not have. Stop following me. You, yeah, but it doesn't mean to... Say, yeah, so the conversation was identify yourself. Which we did. You haven't. So we've answered your verbally, questions. He's told you your number. Verbally. And then... Stop following me. Start, we're, not, we're not moving, are we? Right, then stay where you are then. Do you have any purpose here today? Sorry. Excuse me, why are you putting your hand up? You, do you know what? Yes, that's that's uh, section five, that's assault. No, it's not. I yeah, it is. The, the infants, oh, do you know what? I was threatened. The inference. I was threatened by your hand going up. I'm filming you. Don't touch me. I didn't touch you, did I? You went to touch me. No, I didn't. Because yes, you, you did. You went to impede, you went to freely impede me from walking. You went to freely impede me from walking. I've told you already, stop following me. Don't touch me either. Are you identifying yourself properly or not? Are you telling me that I'm on video or not? Didn't think so. Ego sometimes is a bad thing. Do you need any assistance for police officers today, sir? Uh, cup of coffee, please. Pardon? Cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. Unfortunately, yep. we don't have coffee, but there is a press down the road for you. Uh, yeah, do you need anything from police officers today? Are you willing to tell us who you are? Uh, yeah, we've already done a little cat today, one four eight six. Uh, yeah, it's not good, really. Off you go. Off you go. Dismiss me. Are you alright, mate? Dismissed. Don't go, don't go down that road. Don't go down that road. You suffer for them. Have you been drinking on duty? I can smell alcohol. Can you? Yes, I can smell alcohol. Have you been drinking on duty? Officer T. What? Oh, I can't. I don't you can't know. read it. No. So I'd I, like you to, I asked you earlier. I'd, I'd like you to verbally. If you were blind, anyway, anyway. I'd read it out for you. I don't need to tell you my medical condition or not condition. Yeah, I don't need to tell you my medical you condition or not condition. With us, sir, aren't you? I can say whatever I want to say. You can, but yeah. we can also answer those questions, can't we? Yeah, Which you're obviously getting quite obsessed. Bye. With. All right. Sorry. Bye bye. Off you go. Dismiss. Walk of shame. Uh, yep. Yep. Dismissed. Oh, God. Again. So, let me get back to my story. Yeah, the MPS, as part of their uh, recommendation, are to publicly comment to a zero tolerance policy towards sexism, misogyny, bullying, and harassment. And um, I'm not even sure whether these police officers feel that they're doing all these things. You know, that police officer there put his hand up towards me. He went to touch me, he went to stop me from actually walking past, you know. <laughs> so during the investigation, 14 officers were put under notice that they were being investigated. 
two were dismissed for gross misconduct and put on the barred register. Yeah? One officer resigned prior to the hearing. So anyway, as I was saying, um, further, a further four officers attended a misconduct meeting. <laughs> I don't know what a misconduct meeting is. Yeah, and a fifth would have uh, attended the meeting but resigned <laughs> from the force prior to the meeting taking place. Uh, I, I can't really understand and get my head around how you can resign yeah, from um, um, the force Yeah, I can't um, understand how you can resign from the force yeah, when you know that you're being under investigation and then nothing happens you know it sounds really kind of um, uh, backwards actually you know I mean I've done um, other audits before uh, and um, I think it was at Basildon and there was a police officer that was under investigation for sexual um, uh, harassment and he resigned before uh, his uh, case was um, heard in court so therefore the misconduct um, which was uh, heard by the, the disciplinary panel uh, just uh, didn't do anything if you get what I'm saying because he's resigned he's gone you know they don't, they don't follow it through it seems like they don't follow it through anyway um, but if you do like my content please um, comment like share and subscribe uh, I'm doing a story about uh, Charing Cross Police Station and um, the abuse that's been uh, happening over the last two years which has been investigated by the IOPC um, and I'm talking about the report that's just been uh, um, written and published and I'm talking about the, the 14 police officers who, who were under investigation where um, you know, two officers resigned before any misconduct was um, proven against them. Yeah, a further two received management action, and one received practical. <laughs> yeah, so a further two received management action, and one received practical practice requiring improvement. Okay, so let me get back to this again. I'll start it again. I think I'll start the whole thing again. Oh. Oh, do, 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 Hello? Excuse me, officer. Hey, uh, officer. Yeah, I'll talk to that bloke. No, it doesn't matter. You're, he's in plain clothes. He's in plain clothes, talk to him, tell him he doesn't need to help me. Yeah, he's in plain clothes. If you're going to talk to me like that, identify yourself first. Don't come up to me and ask me if you can help. To you, he? he did. No, just saying if you're right. Exactly, yeah. see, he did talk to me. He did talk to me. I haven't got bad hearing. No, well, I called you to him, didn't I? I called you to him. Tell him that um, if he's in plain clothes, he needs to identify himself. No, I didn't even, I just asked you, you engage okay. with me, yeah, you're a member of the public. Am I so, not allowed to talk to No, you you're not. Way? No. Well, do you want some strangers coming up to you all the time and well, talking yeah, to you? Oh yeah, yeah, go I feel go on. like someone needs help, but it's all do, right. Do, did that look like I needed help for you? Well, standing outside the police station. And does that look like I needed help? Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, does, does it? Does it? Yeah. Are you sure? People come in. Have you been drinking? Yeah, Have you been drinking? Have I been drinking? Yeah. Uh, not today, no. No? No. You sure? There's alcohol in this air. I think because I'm standing on a public um, footpath filming, it doesn't mean to say that I need help. Okay. Please stop refraining. If you want to get me help, get me a cup of tea. Jeez. Weird. Just leave me alone. Let me do what I'm doing. Right, so let me start this again. So during the investigation... Oh, it comes out more. 
Oh, it's tough. As I said already, it's a bit um, weird that, uh, you know, these people can um, resign before they uh, get uh, their disciplinary meetings out of the way. But hey ho, say it goes, that's how it is, yeah? Uh, I don't see any names, that's the thing. I don't see anybody um, uh, being named in these reports. It's just a matter of um, them saying that this officer done this, this officer done that. It's kind of a bit of a weak, watered down um, report. Uh, in my opinion, anyway, uh, because they're not naming anybody specifically. You know, there's been uh, no real hard allegation of, um, you know, a criminal offence taking place, although they've found all these messages, sexual um, messages, and, you know, it, it's, I mean, what is that, uh, malicious communication? There's got to be something that they could uh, put these officers up for. But um, as usual, it's kind of watered down. They do an inquiry, they write it down on a bit of paper, and they send it out as a report, you know. But um, as the IOPC have said, yeah, they've written to all the the, chief, the police chiefs, yeah, and um, they've asked them, which is the NPCC, and they've asked them, the police chiefs, to remind their officers, yeah, of their obligations under the Police Code of Ethics and Standards of Professional Behaviour <laughs> to um, mind themselves, to conduct themselves properly. You know, and that's at work. And if they're doing this all at work, and you've seen what they're, they're doing here outside their police station, you know, you know that um, there's something wrong. It's institutionally wrong, you know? Racism, sexism, uh, all, these, all these types of offenses are rife. You know, they've got a bad attitude, and it needs to stop. Uh, I wonder if they got that memo anyway from the uh, police uh, chiefs uh, council. I wonder. Just like the memo that says um, that I can film in a public place. Yeah, I think that memo was um, deleted. Because I've been standing here for the last 40 minutes on a public pavement filming, which I'm entitled to do. And all these officers keep on coming out and asking if they can help me. But the help that they want to give me is only asking why am I filming. That's not asking me if I need help. Right, so that's um, Charing Cross Police Station. You know, in the news recently. Investigated by the IOPC. And I shall see you on the next one. But this is an update. This is an update to uh, an issue that uh, affected me a couple of months ago. Uh, one of the police officers came out and in my opinion, I feel that uh, was quite rude, very rude in, in, as a matter of fact, in the way that he addressed me and the way that he spoke to me. So um, this is why I'm here as an update. So if you do like my content, please, comment, like, share, and definitely subscribe. This is Charing Cross Police Station. And I'm out of here. Uh, I'm not sure if you're telling me the correct information. Because I can't make a complaint at a police station. Okay, so could I? I know you're police staff. Is there a sergeant that I can speak to? No. So, you, so, so nobody will come come down and speak to me. Can, can I ask why? Just because they'll just tell you the same thing as what I'm telling you, and we only go up if it's really urgent. Because obviously they're really busy upstairs. So a complaint about a police officer isn't urgent to you guys? Oh yeah, no, of course, you have to do it by well, the one. Well, but I can't do it here, yeah? You can if you want. Okay, so I would like to make a complaint here.